companies are poised to top profit expectations in the upcoming batch of fourth quarter financial results, but it's unlikely this earnings season will provide adequate fuel for stocks to surge past record highs, according to top Wall Street strategists. About a quarter of all S&P companies will report earnings this week and another 33% of firms will report next week, according to JP Morgan data. Among the most notable reports this week are Johnson & Johnson, Netflix and Procter and & Gamble on Tuesday, Tesla on Wednesday and Intel and Visa on Thursday. The S&P closed at a record price of 4842 on Friday, gaining further in early Monday trading. Stock's recent gains coincided with increased optimism about the direction of economic conditions directly tied to markets, as under control inflation would mean a growth-friendly monetary policy. The S&P is trading at a historically thin relative valuation, bolstering Mateka's cautious stance. The S&P's price to future earnings multiple sits at about 20, by far its highest level of the last two decades, excluding the pandemic-era stock market bubble and about 20% higher than it sat just three months ago. The benchmark stock index's high valuation indicates that the rally is a matter of rosy investor sentiment rather than material growth for companies, and some strategists believe that without a steady stream of higher earnings, it could be a bumpy path forward for stocks.